Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This video contains major spoilers for arcs 2 and 3, so if you haven't read them, turn back now. Today we will be, we will be discussing the two most powerful villains in Wings of Fire. In one corner, we have the legendary immortal dragon god, capable of slaying an army with the snap of his claws, and completely insane from the abuse of power, both magical and mental. It's Darkstalker. He can make you do anything, think anything, be anything. He cannot be stopped by anyone but himself, and that's exactly who stopped him. He was killed by his own magic. He was slain by a magical strawberry, enchanted by his own scroll. But what if he never ate that strawberry? What if he went claw to er, vine with the breath of evil? In the other corner, we have the breath of evil, the mind-controlling plant with an army of mind-controlled zombie soldiers. It can make you do anything, assuming it can get you. Today we will find out who is more powerful. Darkstalker or the Breath of Evil. We will discuss strengths and weaknesses for these, for lack of a better word, gods. So, for Darkstalker's strengths, we got God Magic, Invulnerability, Immortality, Mind Control, with his magic of course, Mind Reading, Future Seeing, and he cannot starve, die of thirst, or, most importantly, suffocate. He can hold his breath indefinitely. His weaknesses are none. Literally none. He does not have any weaknesses at all. The Breath of Evil's strengths are Mind Control, which Darkstalker has, and an army, which Darkstalker also has. Breath of Evil's weaknesses are can be burned and has a mind that can be destroyed. I am truly sorry for all those Breath of Evil fans, but Darkstalker wins in every single category. He could instantly destroy the Breath of Evil with his magic, and it could do nothing. Even if the Breath of Evil was burned near him, he could just hold his breath until it was gone. It wouldn't even be able to infect him. Even if it did infect him, it would have to infect him with the original Breath of Evil so it could use his voice. And if it used Wasp's version, it wouldn't be able to use his magic, because it would be Wasp speaking, not him. Also, it can't control the thoughts of dragons, so he could still cast a spell using his mind even if he couldn't do it out loud. The army of Hivelings couldn't stop him because he is invincible, and he has super strength, so he could kill all of them without taking so much as a scratch. The only scenario I can think of where the Breath of Evil wins is where it infects him, uses his voice to turn off his invincibility, then attacks him with Hivelings before he could think of a spell. He also has future seeing, and an attack like this would have to be well planned, so he would see it coming. He would hear the thoughts of the Hivelings nearby before they could attack, so he would see it coming a million miles away. Did I mention that he could set the entire plant ablaze with one spell? Darkstalker is like Thanos. He wins in every scenario except one out of 14,605. Darkstalker is clearly the victor with no competition at all whatsoever. Thanks for watching. If I got any of my information wrong, let me know. See you next time.